one is from uh, uh, Constantine. He says, uh, dear Roger, thank you so much for your time. What do you think are appropriate ways to encourage your fellow musicians to speak out against uh, Israeli occupation and other political issues around the world? When you have certainly over uh, various artists appearing in Israel, you've, you've intervened often and persuaded them to think again. So, you know, we can all do things. Can't we? You know, may, may I have had a small effect, but on precious few. I've almost given up writing letters to fellow artists because, you know, I've got writer's cramp. I've written so many letters to so many people appealing to the humanity in them, appealing to their capacity to feel empathy for the dead child or for the parents of the dead child. Look, I, t I spoke to you about this earlier. There it is. This is an op-ed piece that I wrote to Rolling Stone in 2017 that they didn't print because they said, we've heard enough from you about Palestine. And there she is, bless her, Alhams. Yeah, Iman Alhams. She was 13 years old when she was shot dead by an Israeli sniper safe in his armor, in his guard post. And um, the uh, commanding officer of the man who shot this child dead um, was eventually brought up before a tribunal and he was admonished. Um, I'm, I'm trying to remember exactly what it was. It will be in this, I will have written it in here, but he was admonished for um, not not following army protocol in exactly the right way. He stood over this child and riddled her body with bullets as she lay on the ground with an automatic weapon. And, and his punishment for that was to be told that he hadn't followed procedure in the correct way. And he was given a little tiny slap on the wrist and told to get back to work in the occupied territories. So it's really bloody well done, you know.